Hello and assalamu alaikum guys welcome to HL learning studio I'm Hulia and I want to say that this video is not like my all the other videos that I have made for vocabulary it's a little bit different because in this video I'm gonna tell you about some words that you can use to explain the taste of something some of these words are pretty simple and maybe you guys already know about them but some of them are a little bit difficult but important to know so if you guys are interested keep watching this video Word number one is spicy flavor. All the time we use this word to explain something or you can say some food that contains some spices in it. But what it exactly means? It means something having a strong flavor from spices like paprika, coriander or ginger that can create a strong taste in your mouth. So if you have any experience of eating some food like this, you can say it contains spicy flavor. Second word is hot. If you eat something that contains the pepper or chili that can cause a burning feeling inside your mouth, then you can say this food is hot. And the opposite of this word is mild. Word number three is tasty. Any kind of food that contains strong and pleasant flavor inside it, that will be tasty. The next word is tasteless. I know it's exactly the opposite of the word tasty. And you can use this word if you have eaten something that have little or no flavor in it, then that will be tasteless. Next one is inedible. It simply means any kind of food that's too unpleasant to eat, or a food that contains a bad flavor that it's not even suitable for anyone to eat it. Another word is so-so. When something is okay but not good, then you can say that thing or that food is so-so. Actually, it's an informal word or you can say that it's also included in a slang word that you can use while talking to your friend or with someone else that's close to you. So if one of your friends asks you that how was the pizza that you have eaten in last night party, so you can say yeah, it was so-so. It means it was okay but not that much good. Next one is aftertaste. It's a taste, often an unpleasant one, that stays in your mouth after eating or drinking something. Another word is delicious. I know it's a simple one and you guys already know about this word and to some extent it looks similar to word tasty. But it actually means something or any kind of food that have very pleasant taste or smell. So whenever you are eating something that contains a pleasant taste or smell, then you can say it's delicious. Next one is stale and it means not fresh. Mostly we use this word for the bakery products like bread, cakes, pastries, cookies. So next time if you are eating the cake in someone's birthday and it's not fresh, then you can say I think it's stale. Next word is have got a sweet tooth or having a sweet tooth. You can use this word if you are eating something or any kind of food that contains a lot of sugar in it. For example, if you are eating a cake that's full of sugar and it means you are having a sweet tooth. Another word is sickly. It's not exactly the same as sweet tooth or anything like tasty. You can use this word if you're eating something that's unpleasantly sweet or you can say that's over sweet and that contains a lot of sugar in it more than normal amount. Last but not the least the word is weak and mostly we use this word for coffee, tea and all the drinks like this. And it simply means containing too much water and not enough coffee and tea. So if you are drinking any kind of drink that contains a lot of water but not enough coffee or tea, then you can say it's weak. And the opposite of this word can be strong. Like mostly we use this word, I like strong coffee or I like strong tea. So in the same way you can say, I don't like weak tea or weak coffee. So it was all about those words that you can use to explain the taste of something. I hope it will be really helpful for you in improving and boosting your vocabulary. So guys, if you learned something new today, like this video and still if you haven't subscribed my channel, then consider subscribing first. And thank you so much for watching my video till then. See you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.